Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. We start right here in Terre Haute with day three of the Missouri Valley Conference baseball tournament. The top seeded Indiana State Sycamores battling in-state rival Evansville this afternoon at Bob Warren Field with a trip to the championship game on the line as we take you there right now. Lane Miller made the start on the mound for the Sycamores, and he gets back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the first inning, and Miller was lights out all game long, allowing just two hits and striking out six batters across five and a third innings. This game remains scoreless until the top of the fourth when Chase Hug crushes one deep to right field, and that ball is actually over the scoreboard and out of here for a solo home run to give the Evansville Purple Aces a 1-0 lead in this game. ISU would answer back in the home half of the inning, though, as Parker Stinson steps up to the dish and lines one into right field. That ball is plenty deep enough as Mike Sears is going to run home and slide into home with the game-tying run to tie things up at one. Next inning was the big hit for ISU, and it belonged to Luis Hernandez in this ballgame as he connects and sends one deep in the left field gap. It's going to go to the wall. Josue Erdineta is going to score to give the Sycamores a 2-1 lead in the fifth as he scores the go-ahead run there. The dugout's fired up. Hernandez is fired up at second base as the Sycamores take their first lead of the ball game. Same inning, the Sycamores get some insurance a little bit later as Miguel Rivera flies one to left field to score Hernandez on the RBI sack fly. And the Sycamores would add four runs in the sixth, two in the seventh, and one in the eighth as they go on to win this game by a final score of 10-1. Indiana State moves on to tomorrow's MVC championship game where they'll get a rematch with Evansville since it's a double elimination tournament. The Sycamores get two chances tomorrow to win one game and take home the title. These guys are finally seeing what we're made of, what we have, and uh, the product in Terre Haute, obviously. Our guys have earned everything they've got. I mean, we've we've put in the work, we've put in the hours, and for Terre Haute as a whole to come out here and see that, it's it's honestly amazing. To just come out, throw strikes, do what I can. Um, I just got to be one of those guys in the bullpen that come out and have to do my job, get outs, and just continue the game and, you know, keep us keep us at the runs we need to be at. But it's going to be awesome. Like, we... we we are ready, like ready to go. You know, we are already pumped to go tomorrow. We're going to be ready every single day. I like the number of guys we got back there in the pen. Uh, you know, a lot of times you get to this point and you think, oh gosh, who are we going to throw? But we have so many guys that have gotten out there this year and have done extremely well for us. Uh, it's like I said to you yesterday. Well, the guys will be ready. I mean, they they've been getting out here and getting ready, and this crowd support has certainly helped that. We'll be ready tomorrow.